When ordering your blinds, it is important to make correct measurements. All windows are different, so you have two choices, installing on the inside or the outside of the window frame. If you choose to install on the inside, make sure that you have at least one and a half to two inches of window frame depth to ensure that your blinds don't stick out. And if you choose to install on the outside, make sure you have at least three inches of space above your window frame. When installing on the inside of the frame, it is important to make six measurements. Why? Because no window is perfect. Let me show you how to make the measurement. You need a metal tape measure, a notebook with a pencil, and a ladder. First, measure the window frame along the top, middle, and bottom. Round your measurement to the nearest eighth of an inch and use the narrowest measurement. Then, measure the window frame's height along the left side, middle, and right side. Round your numbers to the nearest eighth of an inch, but this time, use the longest measurement. For outside mountings, do not measure the actual window frame. Instead, measure the molding around the window. The same technique will work here. Measure the width along the top, middle, and bottom. Round your number, and this time, use the longest measurement. We recommend adding around half an inch to one inch on each side of your casing to make sure your window frame will be covered. To get the height, Measure from where you want to mount your blinds to as far as you want your blinds to go. To make sure your casing doesn't interfere with your mechanism, we recommend adding three inches on top and one inch at the bottom to your height measurement. Remember, for mounting inside the frame, use the shortest width and the longest height. And for mounting outside of the frame, use the longest width and the longest height. Also, make sure to list your dimensions in the following order. Width first, then height. Now you're ready to install and this will be a breeze. When you receive your perfect shade, the bracket will come attached to the mechanism. Simply flip the lever to remove the bracket and you're ready to install. Along with the Roman shades, you will also receive your installation instructions and all the screws and brackets that you need. For an outside mounting, install the window bracket into the wall above the window frame. For inside mountings, install the bracket into the ceiling of your window frame at least half an inch deep. Also included in your package are wall mounts, which are required for installation into drywall. If you are installing your brackets into wood, you only need screws. Hold the window bracket about three inches from the edge of the window frame and mark with a pencil the spots where the screws should go. Do the same on the opposite side. If you have a wider window, also install an additional bracket in the middle of your window frame. Now that you have marked the holes, you are ready to install the brackets. Now, this step is optional, but we recommend that you pre-drill your holes to avoid cracking the wood in your window frame. Place the mechanism, which is the top part of the shade, into the brackets and flip the lever to secure it. When attaching your Roman shade, place the piping above the mechanism to ensure there are no gaps. If your Roman shade came with a chain, it is important to attach the safety chain lock. After you raise your Roman shade and attach the safety lock to your chain, install it in the middle of your window frame, making sure that the chain is tense enough. When installing the Roman shade on your door window, this will be exactly the same as an outside window frame installation. When measuring, make sure that you have at least three inches of vertical space above and half an inch on either side of your door window frame. When placing your order, make sure that you order the mechanism control to be on the opposite side as your lock and handle. Similarly to the inside installation, we need to install two brackets on the surface of the door or the wall. Now that the brackets are installed, the next step is to install the returns. The purpose of the returns is to hide the sides of the mechanism from view. In order to see where to place the returns, we must first hang up the Roman shade. First, we need to place the return against the mechanism and leave a little bit of space between them. Mark with a pencil where the return should go. Next, we must remove the mechanism in Roman shade and install the returns. 
Now that the returns are attached, we can put the Roman shade back, this time attaching the sides to the return at a 90 degree angle, perfectly hiding the mechanism. Don't forget to install the safety chain lock. And now, sit back and enjoy your beautiful Roman shades. Thank you so much for watching our tutorial.